Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I've wanted to film this one for a while and the legal pad is back because this is where I do all my best brainstorming. So I thought it would be fun to create a little indie makeup wish list for you guys. I guess this is my wish list, so it's my list, but if you guys want to write down some ideas that things you might want that I also want, I don't know, it could be fun, you know, hold hands, sing kumbaya, but yeah, I got like 11 things on this list. I've got 11 things on this list, cash, you know, but I do have some of these on their way to me, some of them haven't launched yet, but you know, with all the makeup craziness, sometimes it's nice to have like a list so I can like keep everything in mind, but I will throw pictures up of the products so you guys can keep up with me and if you have some of these items on your wish list don't forget to let me know down in the comments without further blabbering let's get into it so the first thing on my list is the menagerie cosmetics pastel pop palette now i definitely had my eye on this palette and it actually launched today as i'm filming this video it's already sold out so if you decided to pause and go check i'm pretty sure it's still sold out but <laughs> i'll try and remember to link down in my description box and last week i believe menagerie was was looking to add some influencers to like a PR list or something I don't really know exactly what the wording was off the top of my head but I did throw my name in the hat which usually like you know all those opportunities go to like bigger influencers you hardly ever get a chance when you're as small as I am but somehow girl I uh, got picked with I believe eight other influencers so Annette Legally Black Beauty, I think is her Instagram. There's a bunch of other really amazing creators that I know on the platform that are part of it. So we got put on the list and I believe the brand did let me know that they were gonna send me the palette in PR. Now this was before all the um, craziness that's been going on in the world has happened. So I don't know if I will still get it in PR. If I don't, that's totally fine. I need another pastel palette like I need a hole in my head so I'll be okay but maybe down the line I'll pick it up if I get it you guys will definitely see it in a video because of course it looks so so stunning but yeah that's the first thing on my list I thought it was a beautiful palette I think since the menagerie matte formula is so pigmented uh, I have my fingers crossed that it'll really show up on my skin tone but we'll see if I get my paws on it you guys will see it in a video so the next thing on my list is more pastels. Terra Moon sneak peeked a pastel chameleon shadows collection and they're also doing some pastel matte shadows. So a little birdie named Amy <coughs> told me she's got a code with them. I believe it's just Amy Loves for 15%. Can't remember. Sorry, I'm a bad friend. I'm plugging my friend's code, but she loves Terra Moon. Her and Angie are the ones that convinced me to try their chameleon shadows and like thank you to the makeup gods for allowing me to have such influential friends because they were right. Those shadows are gorgeous. I have a swatch party video with them on my channel so if you haven't seen it i'll try and remember to link it in the description box but otherwise go check it out they're gorgeous the chameleon shadows are gorgeous they're my favorite and so when i saw that there's a pastel collection i was like yes queen <laughs> so i'm definitely going to be picking up the chameleons i'm not sure about the mattes again because i don't really have the best luck with matte pastel eyeshadows and i have the creepy cute palette i have the sugar pill mini palette something so I don't really need more matte pastel shades so I'll probably skip on those but the pastel multi-chrome chameleon shadows I'm totally here for and I believe there is a launch date on that I think they launch sometime next week so when you're watching this video they might already be out and sold out so I'll try and remember to link down in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking them out. They're such a great brand and I'm so excited for these pastels and then I ordered their vibrant multi-chrome chameleon shades that they launched sometime in January and I just got my shipping notification for those so I'm sure I will have those in hand shortly and uh, I'm a very excited camper about that so very very cool stuff and then number three on my wish list is M Cosmetics Flower Garden Palette so again Amy who I now refer to as the queen of single eyeshadows 
um, has been raving about M Cosmetics and I like single shadows. I really, really do. My thing is I'm definitely a palette girl and I end up reaching for my like curated eyeshadow palettes the most and I've been checking out M Cosmetics on and off, on and off for a long time and I finally saw that they were going to restock this palette that they have called the Flower Garden Palette. It's mostly greens and pinks and I don't know, it's not like my favorite color story, but I'm really interested to try the formula because that'll give me a really great idea of whether I like the formula or not. And it's in a palette, so that's gonna be really, really cool. And it's like curated, so that really, you know, was an easy decision for me. So anyway, this palette ended up being available for pre-order in February, I think. And I was going back and forth because I'm like, oh, Amy, it's like, I can't remember, was it like 50 bucks for the palette? I was like, I don't need to spend this money right now, but I knew it was gonna sell out if I didn't jump on it, and so I did purchase it. I don't know when I'll get it, but hopefully soon, because I'm really excited to try the brand. And Amy, of course, raves about the brand, so I'm excited to see if she was right about them. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure she was right about them. I was just kidding. Okay, so the next thing I have on my list, oh my gosh, Give Me Glow's Summer Collection. They've also been doing like some really beautiful single eye shadows and I love Give Me Glow, but I have some of their single shadows and I never reach for them. I think some of them are like brand new. I don't think I've even swatched them. So I'm not trying to focus on building a single shadow collection with Gimme Glow. I'd rather get the palettes and they sneak peeked their summer palette and it's called like spicy, extra spicy palette with these like beautiful red chilies on them and I'm like, oh yes, I'm so excited. So very interested to see what that's going to be like and then they also sneak peeked a very pigmented orange highlighter called the Cali Dreaming Highlighter and that looked so juicy and just holy moly. I don't even know. I think Amy had said she'd probably use it as an eyeshadow. I'm interested to see what it's going to look like. You know, sometimes I can pull off an orange highlighter because I have the Becca highlighter, but this one looked like orange sickle steel, like the swatch. It was so pigmented and opaque. I don't want it to be like a line, you know, I just want it to be like a glimmer. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I, I feel like nothing is going to stop me from buying the palette unless it's like a really, really neutral, super boring palette, which I can't imagine Give Me Glow will do because that's just not their style. Number five is a new brand to me. This is Glaminatrix, which I think I've heard Annette talk about them. I believe if I remember correctly, their palette was their, was her favorite palette of 2019. And Annette is a eyeshadow palette queen, especially in the indie category. So I was like, she must really like their eyeshadows if that was her favorite palette. And then I saw, I think Indie Makeup Spotlight posted a picture of some singles that they were doing for Easter. It's like an Easter bundle, Easter pastel duochrome bundle. And I was bored one day. I was sitting at a friend's house while Rail was trying to help them install something. And I don't know, I was just in the mood to buy something, you know, when you're like in the mood to buy something. And so I thought, hey, this is a new brand, let me try it. So I did purchase that duochrome collection. Not sure when it'll get to me, hopefully before Easter, but if not, say la vie, you know what I mean? And then the next thing on my list, and I'm again gonna blame this one on Amy, is the Alamar bronzers. I don't know why, I don't need a bronzer. I just got Samantha's bronzer in the mail with her collab with Ofra, and I love that bronzer. So I probably am okay to not buy the Alamar bronzer now, um, especially because I wasn't supposed to buy any bronzers this year. It's on my no buy list, and we'll see. I don't think I'll buy them because they're like, they don't do free shipping, and I usually like to buy up to when I can hit free shipping. So I'm just not even going to go there. Plus, I'm not really sure which color I should use, if I should get the medium or the deep. So I'm definitely not going to do it, but it looks so appealing. I love the packaging and the fact that there's like three shades and it's not like contour. It's like a bronzer and like an under eye brightener and then like an amp it up shade. So I think these are cool. I watched the owner's video explaining them. And I just thought it was a really fun launch from them. 
I know a lot of people are expecting to get the bronzers and BoxyCharm, so that kind of makes me want to sign up for BoxyCharm, but I actually really didn't like BoxyCharm when I had it, but I had BoxyCharm like back in the day, and all I would get, I swear, is like brands I'd never heard of and a ton of hair products, and I just really hated that, so um, yeah, I haven't really wanted to subscribe to a subscription box since then and now I'd rather just spend that money on what I actually want but yeah I'm interested to hear other people's reactions to the bronzer once they get it. So the next thing I have on my wish list is the Nomad Cosmetics Ensenada and Malibu quads. So they came out with these really fun little eyeshadow quads and they're very different but they post a lot of looks that other influencers have created with those two quads and they're so stunning and just so simple like the shades are so like simple you wouldn't expect the unique looks that people are creating but they are so fun and so I think this is such a beautiful collection it's like compact I don't know it's a vibe and I think they nailed it and I love Nomad because they're so true to their brand it's a very very nice like you can clearly see like what their brands about like the nomad the travel theme it's very very cool so i just really like those little quads i don't really stickly see myself purchasing them because i don't need to have those quads to create similar looks um but i just thought they were really fun and i don't know what do you guys think next thing that's on my wish list is the Salt New York palette. So I haven't really heard much about them except from other YouTube creators. So my friend Sid talks about them and I think Amy also had mentioned that she purchased a cream palette from them. Everyone's really into cream products except me. <laughs> is anyone surprised? I'm still like holding on to my liquid foundation and my powder products. Like, no, don't make me. I don't know. I think once I find the perfect cream formula, I'll really enjoy it. But other than the ColourPop Super Shocks and the new MAC blushes, I haven't really found cream products I love, 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 so I'm okay. But I'm curious about Salt New York and I went on their Instagram and it looks like they're having another sale for their palettes. So I was like curious and then I was like meh. And I don't know, I don't really love the shopability of their website. Um, you can't see like what the shades are on the build your own palettes or like the custom palettes until after you picked out the shades and you put them in the basket and you have to like remove them and so that's kind of annoying to be honest and on their Instagram they have like the pictures of the pans but none of them are named so I can't tell what's what in those curated like pictures that they have so that's kind of annoying too. I think that's something I would request that they do something about if anyone that works or owns Salt New York ever sees this video because I'm really curious to try their brand but right now it's like I don't want to like have to jump through hoops to get a product from you you know so we'll see maybe something will change I don't know yet the other thing that is on my wish list something I don't really need but I want to get one to support the brand because I love this brand so much and they've been so good to me um, Sydney Grace came out with some beautiful magnetic palettes and my friend Sid told me that Millie from Bad to the Brow, she is a YouTube creator as well, actually designed the palettes, which I thought was really cool. And I have a Sydney Grace code. If you guys didn't know, the code KH Makeup saves you money on Sydney Grace. So they gave me a code. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I thought that I should pick up one of the palettes. So maybe when I have some spare cash, I want to do that. But yeah, I put them on my list and they're really beautiful with like this white packaging. It's very, very eye-catching and very appealing. So number 10 are the Glam V Cosmetics Pastel Retro Liners. Now these are kind of similar to the Suva Beauty formula is what I heard and it wasn't even something I really wanted but I'm really, really curious about them and we'll see because now I think I need to replace them with JD Glow's new liners. They're coming out with these really cool new liners and they come in like a little um, like a little bottle and you have like the brush attached. So that is like so convenient for me and they're coming out with beautiful pastels as well as glitters. They're called Fantasy Glitters 
and they've got like a pink, green, blue, white, and yellow. And then the pastels also come in multiple shades. So I wonder how much those will be. I'm super curious, but they really do look stunning. So I might replace the Glam Weave with the, the JD Glow ones because I have some of their like oil slick looking ones and I really like those. So I might stick to JD Glow. We'll see. So the last product on my list on my indie makeup wish list is Kristen Lee Cosmetics and they posted a picture of a iridescent multi-chrome gel highlighter eye topper called Hypnotic and I don't really own anything like this and the shade was absolutely stunning. It looks so so beautiful in the picture that I actually went to the website and added it to my cart and then I was like Karen you don't need to spend money again on a single shadow so I just thought it was so beautiful and I definitely put it on my wish list. I don't know if, if it's something I'm gonna get right away but I'm definitely keeping my eye on that brand because it's a brand I want to try this year so yeah let me know what you guys have on your indie makeup wish list. I love hearing from you guys and of course any new brands that you think I should try out. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys!